Hello and welcome back to New Year, New Game. This is where I attempt to play 365 games from my Steam library that I've never played before. This is game 222, the good old 222, Cassette Beasts. I saw a video for Cassette Beasts and thought I need to try this game out. It looks great. It does kind of look like a Pokemon type clone, but not exactly. I don't want to say that it's a Pokemon clone. The best way to compare it is the fact that it's catching training monsters. You're also fusing monsters. If anything, it's more of a uh, Shin Megami Tensai kind of clone than a Pokemon one. But it looks like the cassettes are really where all the beasties are, and you can combine two to make other types of beasts. And I'm just always really interested into these kinds of games. I do love me some monster collection, some monster battling, training, doing all of that lovely stuff. And uh, I'm going to be looking really forward to doing this. So, without further ado, let's get into the game. Go ahead and play. Should we check settings though? Make sure everything's good. Graphics presets are on high. Don't see anything. And a V sync. So I think we're good. Alright. Bye. Save changes. Uh, let's go back. And let's play. Start empty file. Now rides this knight through the realm into the wilderness of wow few thereabouts that either God or other with good hearted love. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, let's randomize. Well, let's not randomize the name, but we'll, we'll randomize the person. We are Atlas. Uh, let's do that. And then let's, uh, let's randomize. See who we can get. Mm. Aha, here we go. Bald man. We're gonna be the bald man. something to happen. We can jump. We got a jump button. There's a dash. A little kind of short dash, but a dash nonetheless. I like this little 3D look to it. What is that? A chest. Wood! Someone just left a hundred wood in a chest. It's actually a good place to put wood. Can I jump off? Yeah, we can. Arbor Town Beach. Looks like a bridge. Oh, hey, there's a thing behind us. Hey! Hey, stranger, don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers, or anyone for that matter. Here, take this. Now we can rock out like we're Star-Lord. Okay, quick question. What's your stats? Sweet, sweet. Uh, let's go yeah. sweet. Yeah, I can see that. In that case, take this. Counting sheep. We obtained Ban-Sheep. The eerie moans of the wild band sheep at night have led many to believe that they are restless undead spirits, but this is untrue. They are very much alive. They just like to have a bit of wine. No, of a wine. Who doesn't? Uh, raise this monster's tape to five stars to unlock more information. Habitat unknown. Bootlegs. 
All right, now just pop that in your cassette player, put on the headphones, and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Your turn. Don't be shy. Woo! Transformed into the monster. Just breathe. You'll adjust in just a moment. Right. Oh, panic. Let's give him hell. Uh, fight. Hit him with a schmack. Uh, oh, we get to control the other thing too. Spit, dodge, and spit. Check it out. Um, pattern rounds, that's what we got equipped. We got four plastic. Looks like Legos. You held yourself pretty well there. Uh, what's your name? I'm Kaylee. I'm Kaylee. Nice to meet your acquaintance, Atlas. Anyway. We should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your p uh, pajamas. Hey, Hamas. Do I walk with a limp? I look like I walk with a limp. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? What is this place? It's a rehab. Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> it's a town by the harbor. Your new home. My new. Uh. Home. Uh. Right. Yeah. Sorry. I'm not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. Oh, I feel so great. Beep, beep, beep. Oh. Wonderful. Ah. Okay, this is definitely gonna be a copyrighted song. This is this is where my video gets copyrighted. Ah, wonderful! You're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. <sighs> you had me scared for a moment, Atlas. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbor Town happened to have a spare home available for you. So this is your place now. Where on earth is this place? On earth? On earth. Ailey, you haven't told him? Sorry. Sorry, I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New Warrell. It's not strictly on earth. At least that's what we think. Is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. Oh, the music stopped. This is the sudden shock back to reality. I'm afraid not, Atlas. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. <laughs> but, but, you'll be okay. There's community in Harbor Town, and we help each other out. It's not a bad life, and it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters, like the one we fought before? Yeah! Yeah! I'm actually going on patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, maybe by the gate. The one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. I'm pretty sure word has already gotten around that there's a new lad in town. We'll also fetch some clothes for you. Though they might be a bit out of fashion for your era. But it's all we have. My era? Sorry, sorry. I'm info dumping. I'll catch you soon. Right. We can talk more then, if you'd like. My clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. This all must be a lot to take in. But we all went through the same thing once. New quest in this world we live in. Speak to Kaylee at the Harbor Town East entrance. Continue.
We got a ranger handbook, a handbook that Kaylee left for you. You can read this to review what you've learned about life on the island of New World. Uh, real quick, I think we need to really get into settings and go to, uh, uh, auto. This is auto. Uh, music vocals off. Let's, uh, let's put music down slightly. I'm digging it. I like the music. There's nothing wrong with it. I just really don't think that, uh, I should have the lyrics going on. Definitely getting copyrighted. I don't get paid to make these, so I guess it really doesn't matter all that much. But, uh, still. Let's go ahead and save. Uh, back. So you get to pick clothes. I was just changing everything again. There we go. We're back to being a bald guy. We dyed our hair this time and got some new colored glasses. Letterbox. How strange that it's indoors where nobody can deliver letters. Check it anyways. This will connect to the internet. Sure. The letterbox is empty. There's a keypad at the back though. We enter a code. I will not. Let's continue. Uh, I gotta go meet Ely. So let's go. Well, we don't run very far. Is Hi again, Atlas. Are you feeling a little better? You know, you held your own the last time we fought together. So, well, I've been given an errand and need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Errand? I'll explain in just a moment. Do you see that path there? Well. There was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks in the ground. We're going to check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. Here, take the key to the gate. Ooh, Harbor Town Gate Key. Close. Removed from inventory. Harbor Town Gate Key. I like those effects. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Is that a monster over there? Could be a monster, could be a furry, we never know! Hmm, we can swim, or not. Uh... Right, uh, there's some basics I gotta show you first. I hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Definitely. <laughs> You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. Except, you know, if the bike transformed into a moody floating sheep. And also, you're the bike. Hmm. You see that creep with the boots? It's a spring here. And it's gonna get aggressive when you, if you, get any closer. Oh, with you, if you get any closer. So, you're gonna get closer. Of course. Yeah, let's get closer. But first, look at these creatures. Hey, what's going on, man? Oh, no. It got aggressive. Lights. Pay attention to these orange squares. They are the action points, or AP for short. Most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move cost is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you don't want to be able to use each party member gets two AP each turn and an extra one if they land a type advantage attack. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker low AP moves. Ah, uh, smack! Let's call for help. 
chance to summon a temporary owl with a 15% priority chance. Didn't seem like it really works. Uh, let's spit. You've taken a bit of a beating, but your monster form can take it. The green bar represents your monster's form health, and the red is yours. If a form loses all of its health in a fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. If both of us lose all our health, then we'll have to retreat back to Harbor Town. I didn't realize it was Kaylee who was talking. About that? Yes. Right. Right. Let's crack on. Smack. Spin. Yeah. Fight again with a battering ram. And you can continue to fight with just spitting on him. Accuracy down, and we made it a retreat. Wheat and pulp. Sort of cool. Oh, it got equipped. Uh, let's go ahead and close. Yeah! Nice work! Hmm, that elevator should be functioning. There'll be a switch around here to turn it back on. Where, where could that switch be? Maybe in here? Hey! Great! Let's head up on up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead for any more fights. But don't worry, I'll be sticking with you from here on out. We unlocked Kaylee as our partner. In Serenity. Serenity? Serenities are a particularly loud creature. Or sirenades, that's what it was. So we got a banshee and a siren. Sirenis? Sirenis? Are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices. Though their microphone tails and wings, they don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Uh, this is the world we live in. Follow Kaylee's directions. Up we go. Down we go. Hey! Do you need a break, Atlas? We can rest here if you'd like. There's other creatures right there. These bonfire pits mark areas just safe to set up camp. It gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Let's do that then. Camp here. Yes. Yes, I will. Uh, let us uh, rest, I guess. Removed from inventory, for wood. You and Kaylee casually discuss the mysteries of New Wirral. We roll. Uh, I guess we can exit. Oh, creatures are gone. There's a person right there. There's another Jack Hill. Let's get him. And a traffic cab. He's just evasive. His bass really raised in proportion to the amount of HP lost. Smack him. Smack that traffic crab. Spit on him. Walls absorb a certain number of incoming hits. Type advantage attacks immediately break walls. Hmm. What about you? Battering ram there. And uh, Sonic Boom. It's a whole team. Very nice. No, no, jump scare. Uh, 
smack him. The character that flinches skips his next turn. Battering ram. And just spit on him. <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> Victory. Woo. We got sharpen. Raises the user's melee attack. And look, there's the critters. Carney Viper. Raise your melee attack. Dodge, raise your evasiveness. I don't really know what the type of difference is. Sonic Boom! <laughs> My accuracy! Their accuracy! Uh, hit him with that smack! And you can hit him with that spit. Oh, we flinched. We did it! Wood, wheat, hope. Yes, camp here. Rest. Guess wood is kind of a currency? I used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland has a bunch of great places to camp out. My dad would drive the two of us to the countryside, and we'd stargaze together. Camping with you makes me nostalgic for that time. Is this way? I can't fly like you kids. Come on, it's this way. All right, fine. You don't let me. Choose where I can go. There'll be more monsters about, but we can take them. Hey, there's one. There. Do you see that monster? There must be a way to get to it. Come over here. Sonic Boom. Ouch. Poison me. Poison characters take damage at the end of their turn. Darn, missed. Traffic cabs using an elemental wall. Let's go ahead and smack them. Uh, I'll try a call for help, see what happens. 
Hey, look at that, we got help. Oh, speed went down. It's no way to get someone new introduced into our group by letting their speed go down. A basic recycled resource. Plastic. We really don't have a whole lot of health. Okay. Okay, take these. Records monsters' forms with a normal efficiency rate. So basically. There's something about the monsters, a new war. Well. When weakened, their essence can be, well, reported on cassette tapes. We don't entirely know how it works, but it does. And that's good enough for us. Basic thing. Should I use already? So we only use it. Dominoth. Dominoth see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights, such as lamps. Whether a recording succeeds or not is down to chance. However, several factors affect the probability of success. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt it while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. Buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defense can be effective ways to increase the damage you deal the target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as a monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. You can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained in a few ways. By filling tapes experience point bars from chests and caches you find from certain merchants in Harbor Town. Hooray! Smack and sprints. Now try switching to the tape you just recorded. Alright. Rent's full. Upon the bomb. That's how you get yourself a new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee. So you don't won't be able to record it. If ah, messed all that up. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee. So you won't be able to record it. You with me so right. far. Nice. Now, let's finish this bug off. Spin on him. Yeah. Uh, that's good. Smack him. And we'll continue to spin on him. One more smack gotta do it. Or another spit, whichever comes first. It's a spit. <laughs> Woo! Hey. Got a Zephyr. And provoke. Prevents opponents from directly targeting the user allies for three turns. 
along with the ledger jump. Woo, we're flying! What's happening? Some monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take their shapes. Don't panic! I have wings! Mothwing Glide. You can now hold space to glide across long distances. This costs you, or consumes your stamina. Costumes. Sorry. Sorry. I should probably have warned you. But I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this glide to get across that gap right there. Uh, this is the a new... See, the world we live in. Company Kaylee to the broken pathway. Uh, yeah. I'm actually going to save. Because I think. Yep, it's in over 30 minutes. Uh, that is good for a preview, I believe. We got the concept of combat and the monster collecting and how that works with the recording of tapes instead of using pokeballs to record it i like that your character transforms into them and the fact that you can get these stickers from moves that you learn if i can take a sticker from one of the characters who's learned a move by leveling up and then put it onto another tape for another character to use that would be awesome that's a really cool thing I like that, and they're really kind of trying to stick to this theme with tape recording, and I'm assuming we're in the 80s, about that era or something like that, 80s or 90s, with uh, tape recorders, and just having a blast. I would really like to come back to this game and try it again, unfortunately, we only have so much time we can pack into 30 minutes, and I just don't feel like we had the proper amount for this particular game. But hey, it was a good time, I had a thumbs up. I would definitely be back to keep trying it. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next game. Goodbye.